Hi everyone, it's Alina and Emmy here to talk about filtering your report by trade. So this is useful if you want to see, you know, which sub is going to do what in total instead of it being broken down in your report by room or by roof, you know, area of the home, area of the building. You can actually look at the total by trade and it's a very uh, interesting report if you're trying to, you know, figure out what subs are going to do what and um, how much money is allotted in an estimate for a certain trade. So let's take a look at how to order our report by trade. Here I am in Xactimate in an estimate, and I'm in X1, so you'll see this nice blue ribbon over here to the left. If you're in desktop version of 28 or online version of 28, don't worry, just you won't have the blue ribbon, but the rest of your screen should look the same, and I'll guide you through the differences as we go along here. So first of all, what we want to do is pull up our reports. So we're going to go to documents here in X1 and go to reports. If you're in desktop or online 28, you'll go up to the top right corner of your screen and you'll choose print. So it's the same area. They've just moved it here in the X1 system. So you'll see print up in your top right corner if you're on any version of 28. And that'll bring you here to your reports section. If you're um, on the version of 28, it'll pop up a little mini window for you here that'll look similar. And if you go to report, and drop down the list next to that, you'll see a plethora of reports here. And we're looking for the trade summary. Now, trade summary is interesting because it's only available in the contractor profile. So I'm going to go back out here to my dashboard and you can do this in the 28 as well. If I'm not running the contractor profile here, whenever I first created the estimate, that's not an issue. I can take my original estimate I can go over to duplicate and change that to contractor and it will duplicate it into the contractor profile and then I can run this trade summary report. If we're in 28, all you have to do is right click on the project and choose duplicate and there you can ch change that profile over to contractor. So that's how I did that here. We now have a duplicate project in the contractor profile ready to go to look at the trade summary. Again, you're going to go to your report section or go to print and that'll bring you here to the report section and then we can choose trade summary off of the list. Go ahead and click view and that'll bring up the trade summary itself and the trade summary of course is broken down who knew it? By trade. So in Xactivate, your category and selector codes that you use on your line items, category like DRY, RFG, DMO, uh, those are your trades. So that's how it's going to break down this summary is it's going to collect all those categories and group them together and give you a summary of the work to be done. And so you'll notice here, like for drywall, I only have one drywall line item in this estimate. And so you'll just see this one part of the trade summary. Um, the material cost is here and material total. Also your amount of units, your amount of square feet is here, but notice the hours or the labor cost. It just lists the hours. There is no exact amount pricing given to the, the labor here on this summary. And what's great about it is then you can then hand this to a sub and say, Hey, what's your bid for this amount of material to be installed? We're um, approximating around 10 hours to do this. And uh, what would be your bid for that? And that is what this report is usually used for. If I scroll down, you can see we got a little bit of finished carpentry, not much there, a little bit of painting, about six hours it approximated. Again, it's not revealing the labor pricing from Xactimate on this report. And if I go down to my roofing, they're approximating about 45 hours. That's interesting to me. It's a 25 square roof. Um, so it's just fun to look at all of these different, you know, um, pieces that Xactimate puts together. But uh, that's what they're approximating for putting on a 25 square roof with all the accoutrement that I've uh, added to the estimate, such as, you know, they've got an ice water shield, they've got gable quarters returns and other fun things. So that's um, usually what people I have heard have are using this for is handing this off to a sub and saying, here's what I estimate the materials, you know, is going to cost. I'll provide material, but I need someone to install it. And this is the approximate time that uh, for, for installing that amount of material. So this is something that quite a few people actually have asked me in the past how to see, you know, the 
or, and be able to hand this off to somebody so not reveal your pricing. This is one of the ways that we've found using the trade summary to do that. If you have a, or, or have used this in a different capacity, please let me know in the comments below what you've used this trade summary for. Um, I just, I get asked to show these things and you know, some people say they use them this way. Well, I like to see the way that you use it in your business or how you would do this. Um, you know, using this trade summary, whether it be useful to reveal the amount of hours uh, for you. So definitely comment below with how you would use this in your business. And then if you like this video or like this topic, please be sure to press the like button below as that's like gold for me here on YouTube. And I appreciate your likes, comments, and shares. That really helps me out here on this channel. My name is Alina Wilson with Eximate Mastery. I'm opening the doors to my Eximate Mastery University soon. So if you want to find out more information about that, go to our website at www.eximatemastery.com and get on the wait list for the website. Just click on online training and take a look at the information there. Uh, super excited to be doing that in the beginning of February, actually, we'll be opening the university. Hope you guys enjoyed that information and I hope you have a great week in your business and I'll see you next week.